Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my class. Today, we'll start a new chapter called Food and Beverage Service. Okay? So, in class 11 also, we have talked about Food and Beverage Service. What is Food and Beverage Service? Uh, what are the different outlets of Food and Beverage Service? Uh, what are the duties and responsibilities of the staffs involved in Food and Beverage Service? And all these topics we have already studied in class 11. So, in class 12, we'll start from a topic called Restaurant Furniture. What is restaurant furniture? Uh, what are the different types of restaurant furniture used in a restaurant? And what are the factors to be considered while selecting restaurant furniture? And as well as the dimensions of different types of restaurant furniture. So before we go into restaurant furniture, uh, let me uh, define food and beverage service. What is food and beverage service? We all know, I told you we have already studied in class 11, the meaning of food and beverage service is very simple. Food and beverage service means uh, providing the prepared food and beverages to the guest on the table in appropriate manner. It is very simple. It's all about delivering the prepared food and beverages. You know the foods they are prepared in kitchen and the beverages they are prepared in bar. So it's all about delivering the prepared food and the beverages or the drinks from the kitchen and bar respectively to the guest on the table. So that is the meaning of food and beverage service. Now let us directly go into the restaurant furniture. So what is restaurant furniture? You know what is restaurant? A restaurant is a place where uh, different types of foods and uh, beverages are served. It's a dining area actually in a hotel. Restaurant is simply a dining area where the people can enjoy different kinds of foods, different cuisines, different kinds of drinks, different types of beverages. So that is restaurant. And uh, in restaurant, we can see different types of furniture. Restaurant, there are different types of tools and equipment used in restaurant for guest service. And among them, furniture is also one of the most important uh, restaurant tool and equipment. So restaurant furniture, basically uh, refers to the furnitures that are used in restaurants that are used for delivering uh, food and beverage service and basically restaurant furniture includes table chair and sideboard these are the three basic restaurant furniture table chair and sideboard we'll be talking about the restaurant table and the dimensions chair and their dimensions as well as the sideboard and the purpose of sideboard the functions of sideboard in a restaurant so before we individually go into the table chair and sideboard first of all let us know uh, what is restaurant furniture i told you again restaurant furnitures are the furnitures that are used in our restaurants these are the assets one of the valuable assets of our restaurants and the furnitures that are used in our restaurants are basically made up of wood when we talk about the material of a furniture a lavish a standard a fine dining restaurant always uses the furniture that is made from wood otherwise the furnitures are also found to be made from other different materials like uh, different types of metals uh, even plastics marble etc that depends upon the type and the class of the restaurants okay if the restaurant is very simple it's a very simple uh, like a bakery cafe the restaurant uh, furniture are also of very low or uh, uh, semi-standard quality but if it's a fine dining restaurant a fine dining restaurant always uses a furniture uh, that is made from wood because the furniture is made from wood looks very standard that matches the theme of the restaurants as well as they are very durable therefore the woods are the basic preferred material used in restaurant furniture so now let us go to the factors to be considered while selecting restaurant furniture for example, let's say if we are going to operate, if we are going to open, if we are planning to uh, operate a restaurant, then we need to buy the restaurant furniture. So before we buy the furniture, before we select the furniture, we need to consider some of the basic things. Like for example, one of the factors to be considered while selecting or purchasing the restaurant furniture is the cost and durability. Cost is one of the most important factors to be considered while we select the restaurant furniture because furniture involves a large amount of money. A good quality furniture involves a large amount of money. So we need to consider the cost as well as its durability. Cost and durability, they are relevant to each other. Okay, so it should be considered how durable is the furniture, how much you pay for the furniture, how much it costs, and how durable it is. This is the point to be considered while you select a restaurant furniture. Similarly, the next point to be considered is uh, ease to clean. The furniture should be 
easy to clean. It should be easy to maintain. A restaurant should always be kept in a very hygienic condition. It should be always neat and clean. So we should consider, we should also uh, see that whether the furniture can be easily cleaned or maintained or not. So this is another point to be considered. The next point to be considered is easy to stack. The furniture should be easy to stack when not in use. It should be easy to store in the storeroom when it is not in use or while cleaning tax is to be carried out. And the next one is it should be relevant to the theme and decor of the restaurant. This is one of the most important factors to be considered. So what type of restaurant is that? Uh, what is the theme of the restaurants? How is the decoration of the restaurants? So that should be considered before we select the restaurant furniture because the furniture reflects the quality. If the furniture, the design of the furniture, it, if it does not match with the theme and decor of the restaurants, then that will be the wastage of money. So the next thing to be considered is it should be relevant. The furniture should be relevant to the theme of the restaurant. It should be uh, match. It should match with the interior decoration of the restaurant. And the next one is standard size. The restaurant furniture we are going to purchase or we are going to select, it should be of a standard size because the standard size furniture reflects the quality and standard of the restaurant. So these are the factors to be considered while selecting the restaurant furniture. Okay, now let us start with a table. What is table? A table is simply a furniture. A table in a restaurant, we uh, mean it a dining table. It's a, a table where we serve different types of foods and beverages to the guest. Its uh, table is used for serving food and beverages to the guest. And there are different types of table. I told you the tables are also made up of wood. And table basically has two components. One is table top and the next one is base. These are the two components of a table. This uh, table top is the topmost part of the table. This is the flat portion of the table. This is the flat surface of the table, which are normally available in three different shapes. That is square, rectangular, and a round or circular shape. These are the three basic shapes that we can see in restaurant on a table. So table has two component. This is the topmost part of the table. So this is called table top, the flat portion of the table, uh, which can be made up of wood or which can be made up of any metal or which can be made up of plastic, marble or anything. And in order to support the top of the table, there is always a base and the design of the base also depends upon the design of the table. The design might be different. So this is the base of the table. The base holds the top of the table. It supports the top of the table. So the base and the table top, they combinedly make a table. And one more impo important thing is the standard height of a dining table in a restaurant should be 30 inch. This is the standard height of the table. It is mostly asked in objective question in an exam. So this is the standard height of a table. 30 inch is the standard height of the table. Okay, so let us go to the dimension of a table. I told you tables are available in three different shapes, square, rectangular, and round table. The first one is a square table. Like for example, if we need a square table for two packs, here packs means number of guests. Okay, this is the number of guests on a table. For example, let's say if there are two people sitting on a table, then the packs is two. So this packs means the number of guests, or we can say packs simply means the capacity, number of the guests. So for two people, for two packs, the size of the square table should be 76 centimeter by 76 centimeter. That means, square means the length and breadth both are equal. Length is also 76 and the breadth is also 76 centimeter. So it's 76 centimeter square is the standard uh, size of the square table for two packs. Similarly, if we need a table, a square table for four packs, then the size should be one meter by one meter. Okay, it's uh, normally larger than the table required for two packs. The size should be, the length should also be one meter and the breadth should also be one meter. So it's one meter square is the size of the square table for four packs. Now, when you talk about the rectangular table, rectangular table, in rectangular table, opposite sides are equal. So if we need a rectangular table for four to six packs, I mean for four to six guests, one, two, three, four, five, six guests, then the length and the breadth. The length should be four feet, six inch, and the breadth should be two feet, six inch.
Okay, this is the breadth of the uh, table, rectangular table for four to six packs, sorry, uh, four to six packs, and the length should be four feet by six inch for uh, a rectangular table uh, for four to six packs. And if we talk about the round table, round table, okay, uh, uh, the capacity for, uh, if uh, we need to buy a round table for four packs for four guests, then the diameter of the round table should be three feet. Okay, diameter is the maximum length of any circle. So uh, normally we cannot measure the length and breadth on a circular uh, object. So it's measured in diameter or radius. So a round table for four packs, the diameter should be three feet. Three feet diameter of a round table is suitable for four packs. One, two, three, and four. And similarly, if we need a round table for six to eight packs, then the diameter should be five feet. Okay, five feet diameter of a round table is suitable for six to eight packs. This is how it goes. So this is the basic dimension of different uh, uh, type of table. I'll repeat it again. These are important for objective questions. For example, square table. If we need a square table for two packs, then its dimension should be 76 centimeter by 76 centimeter. Similarly, if we need a square table for four packs, then the dimension should be one meter by one meter. And for rectangular table, for four to six packs, the dimension should be four feet six inch by two feet six inch. And for round table, for four packs, the diameter, sorry, uh, the, uh, the diameter of a round table should be three feet. And for, uh, for uh, six to eight packs, the diameter of a round table should be five feet. So these are the basic dimensions of a table. Now, let us go to the next furniture that is shear. Table and shear, they always come together, they always come hand in hand because a table without shear has no meaning. Therefore, where there is a table, there is always a shear. So, chair, there are different types of chairs used in hotels, like for example, restaurant chair, bar chair, poolside chair, Banquet chair, and other different types of chairs. These are the different types of chairs that are used in uh, 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 hotels. Depending upon the outlet, what type of outlet is that? The, the design, uh, the structure of the chairs are also different. So there are different types of chairs like restaurant chair, bar chair, pool chair, and banquet chair. And uh, like table, chairs are also made up of different types of material, but the material, the design uh, of the chair should be relevant to the uh, material and design of the table. For example, if the table is made up of wood, then the chair should also be made up of wood. If the table is made up of wood and the chair is made up of plastic, then it does not look nice, it does not match. Therefore, if it is made up of wood, it should also be made up of wood and the design of the table should be relevant to the design of the chair. They should cooperate to each other, otherwise it, it will look odd. Therefore, these are the basic things about the chair and the most important thing about the chair is the dimension. When we talk about the chair, if the table has 30 inch height, if we consider 30 inch as the standard height of the table, then the chair's height should be one meter. The height means from the bottom, from the ground to the top of the backrest. This is called the backrest of the chair, and this is the top of the backrest. So from the ground to the top of the backrest, the height should be one meter. It should be one meter. This is the standard height of the chair when we match it with the table of standard height 30 inch. Similarly, the height of the seat, this one is the seat, the height of the seat from the ground should be 18 inch, it should be 18 inch, this is the standard height of the seat, and similarly, uh, the front part of the seat, the seats from the backrest to the front, backrest to the front should also be 18 inch, that means this part and this part is equal. So when we match with the chair, or with the 30 inch standard height of a table, then the dimensions should be, the maximum height of the chair should be one meter, and the height of the seat should be 18 inch, and uh, the seat from the backrest to the front should also be 18 inch. This is the dimension of a chair. So this is all about the table and chair. 
Now let us go to the sideboard. This is another most important restaurant furniture. It is widely used in every restaurant and this sideboard is also known as dormy waiter. Now what is sideboard and why it is called dormy waiter? I told you in order to provide service, we use different types of service tools and equipments. There are different types of tools, there are different types of equipments to provide uh, an effective food and beverage service, like uh, we're using cutleries, we're using crockeries, we're using glasswares, hollowwares, menu. Lots of things. These are the different tools and equipment used to provide food and beverage service. And all these tools, all these equipment need a place to be stored. We need a place to store, to stock, to stack all these service equipment at one place. And for that reason, sideboard has been made. So how we can define sideboard is, sideboard is a type of restaurant furniture which is designed with uh, shelves, drawers, and racks where we can keep different types of service tools and equipments at one place. The sideboard is made up of very good quality wood. It is designed with drawers, that means it has drawers. Drawers are used to keep different types of cutleries, and uh, it has shelves, it has different types of racks where it can keep all the different types of service equipment systematically. So, sideboard is a service, sorry, it's a service equipment or it's a restaurant furniture where we can keep different types of service equipment at one place, which are very important for the waiter to provide food and beverage service. And the sideboard is also known as dormy waiter. It is called dormy waiter it's because, you know, waiter. Waiter is a person who serves food and beverage service to the guest, it pro who provides food and beverage service is the, uh, to the guest. And this is dummy. Dummy, you know what is dummy? You have seen dummy in different clothing stores. I know we call it uh, putla in uh, 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 Nepali. So dummy does not move, it does not work because it's a non living thing, but uh, it, looks, uh, it's the, it looks like a human being, but it's a non living thing. So dummy waiter, it is called dummy waiter because waiter needs different types of service equipments to provide service and these service equipments are held by the sideboard. Therefore, it is called dummy waiter because it cannot move and walk, it cannot talk, it cannot behave as a waiter but helps the waiter by holding all the service equipment at one place. That is the reason why it is called dummy waiter. So this is the basic meaning of sideboard. Okay, and uh, in sideboard, we keep different types of service equipment. I'll list down some of the service equipment we keep in sideboard, like cutleries. Cutleries refers to all kinds of fork, spoon, and knives. There are different types of fork, there are different types of spoons and knives, and they are collectively known as cutleries in catering term. Similarly, crockeries, Crockery includes all kinds of plates, bowls, and saucer. Similarly, linens. Linens are the cloths used in restaurants like multan, tablecloth, tabletop, etc. Similarly, even the soiled linens, the dirty linens that are already used, menu, sauce bottles, condiments, butter dish, crusade, salva, salva is a round tray used for serving drinks. Similarly ashtray, toothpick holder, straw holder, etc. So these are the different service tools 
These are the different tools that are stored on a sideboard in a systematic way. And there are different places uh, in a sideboard to keep these uh, different types of service tools and equipments. So when these tools and equipments are properly arranged on a sideboard, then it makes the waiter easier to use them as and when required. Okay, because these are properly arranged, these are systematically arranged on a sideboard. So when the waiter needs any one of these, then they can easily retrieve, eat, uh, retrieve them as and, as and when required. So that's the reason why sideboard is used in a restaurant. So this is all about a restaurant table, chair, and sideboard. And these three are basic, uh, but the, the, these three are basically called restaurant furniture. So these were the things we were talking about, table, chair, and sideboard. Now, I'm going to give you some of the important questions that are very important for exam, uh, which are usually asked in objective question, short question, and long question. For example, let's say in objective question, Objective questions related with the topic that I have taught you just uh, uh, I've taught you just now is for example in objective question the question can be asked as the standard height of a dining table is 30 inch so this is a statement that can be asked in true false as objective question so what would be the answer the answer would be 30 inch the answer would be true no doubt because i told you 30 inch is the standard height of a dining table so the standard height of a dining table is 30 inch if the question is asked in such a way then this statement is true so we have to write down true similarly the next objective question can be The standard height of a chair is, let's say, 90 centimeter. Is this statement true or false? This statement is false. It's because I told you the standard height of a chair is one meter. Okay. The maximum height of a chair from the ground to the top of the backrest is one meter. Therefore, this statement is false. This is another most important objective question for your exam. And next question is the dimension of a square table for four packs is one meter by one meter. What would be the answer, true or false? This statement is also true. The standard height, sorry, the dimension of a square table for four packs is one meter by one meter. If it had, if it had been two packs, then this statement had been false. Okay. Similarly, sideboard is also known as dummy waiter if this is the statement if it is asked in true false then the correct answer will be true sideboard is also known as dummy waiter let's say if another question is asked like sideboard is also known as side station then this is also true because in some of the cases we also call sideboard as side station sideboard is also known as dummy waiter sideboard is also known as side station we can also say side station to the sideboard similarly the next question can be the dimension of a round table for six to eight packs is three feet if this is the question if this is the statement then the answer is 
false it's because the dimension of a round table for six to eight packs is it's not three feet it's always five feet so if three feet is asked then this statement is false the correct statement is five feet the dimension of a round table is five feet so these are some of the objective questions that can be asked in an exam that means normally we can guess the objective questions are mostly based on dimension of table and chairs so this dimension of tables and dimension of chairs are important for objective questions so these are the objective questions from the topic which I have just taught you. Now, let us go to the short question. The short questions from this topic can be write short note on restaurant sideboard this is one of the most important question for your exam or it can also be asked as define sideboard explain its significance or importance in a restaurant this is the standard question which is normally asked in the exam define sideboard explain its significance significance is simply called importance okay its significance or importance in a restaurant why sideboard is important in a restaurant similarly the next question can be it can be a long question. Briefly explain different types of restaurant furniture with their dimensions this can be a long question for your exam if this question is asked then you have to explain about table chair and even sideboard along with their dimensions so this is a long question and uh, this is a short question define sideboard or uh, write side uh, short note on sideboard or define sideboard explain its importance in a restaurant and these are the objective questions for your exam mostly from this topic called restaurant furniture from restaurant furniture mostly two types of question is asked one is objective question this topic is mostly important for objective question that means for one mark and uh, the objective questions which are usually asked is I've already given here these are the objective questions from here any one of the question can be asked as, as objective question in exam so this is this topic is mostly important for objective question and another topic another question that can be asked from this topic is uh, this one define sideboard explain its significance or importance in a restaurant so these two objective questions and this question short question is very important question for you exam so you can uh, uh, get well prepared about the uh, about this type of questions from this topic okay this is all about today so in our next class we'll start the next topic thank you very much see you in my next class thank you